The DJI NEO is equipped with DJI's latest transmission system, OcuSync 4.0. In this video, I'm going to put the new NEO through its paces in a high interference stress test to test how good the signal really is and establish whether this drone is suitable for flying in a built up area. So let's get into it. Now this DJI NEO certainly has a huge amount of features, especially at its price point, making it a very appealing option. Absolutely perfect for those of you who wanted to capture yourself in some nice scenic locations, whether it be with yourself, friends, family, on holiday, or just generally, you know, out vlogging and traveling and wanting to record your adventures. Now there are four main ways to operate this piece of kit. Firstly, we can use the mode button on the top to toggle through the smart flight modes, then use palm takeoff and landing. Second is to use the DJI Neo with the DJI Fly app, where we can choose the smart flight modes and customize them to our preference just to get that perfect shot that you are looking for and we can even use the DJI Neo in manual mode using the virtual sticks on screen to control it up to a maximum distance of 50 meters and altitude of 30 meters. Now I've already made a dedicated video on the DJI Neo demonstrating all of these smart flight modes so you can see exactly what they look like and how you can use them to capture some great footage so be sure to check that video out after watching this one. You can even pair this DJI Neo with the latest version of the goggles and controller to capture some epic FPV footage. But what really sets this DJI Neo apart from the competition is the fact that if you bought it with a combo with the DJI RC N3 controller or if you have the DJI Mini 4 Pro or Air 3 with the RC N2 or RC2 controller you can pair those controllers up with this drone turning it into a fully functional piece of kit that we have come to expect from DJI. Essentially, you can use this with a controller and the full version of the DJI Fly app, which gives us full manual camera controls for photo and video and exposure controls. It allows us to use full spotlight, active track and point of interest. So there is certainly a really good reason to use it with these controllers. Now, as I mentioned in the intro, DJI have packaged this drone with their latest OcuSync 4 technology. They claim that this piece of kit right here can go for a maximum distance of around 10 kilometers. Well, firstly, that is completely unrealistic because the battery on the DJI Neo is only going to get us around 16 to 17 minutes worth of flight time and you ain't getting 10 kilometers away on a battery that lasts 16 to 17 minutes. But also when it does come to OcuSync 4, not all OcuSync 4 is created equally. You see here in the UK and Europe under CE regulations, we get around half the broadcasting power as to what those of you get, for example, in the United States or Australia under F. FCC regulations. This essentially means that here in Europe we tend to struggle with our signal strength and disconnections a hell of a lot more than what some of you do and it explains some of the discrepancy between what you guys consider a good or bad signal strength. So in this video I'm going to stress test this DJI Neo in a high interference area to see if it can keep the signal to establish whether you can trust this and fly it with the controller in a built up area. So let's crack on with the test. So before we begin the flight, we're going to go into the DJI flight app settings and the transmission tab to make sure the DJI Neo is on the correct setting for flying in this high interference area. Now with OcuSync 4 came that third frequency band. We have got 5.1 gigahertz, we have got 5.8 and 2.4. If you don't know already, traditionally 2.4 is designed for wide open spaces, whereas 5.2 and 5.8 are designed for built up areas because they reject that interference that little bit better. However, as most people's home Wi-Fi is running on that 5.8, as we toggle to stick on that 5 gigahertz frequency, down at the bottom you will see the drone has chosen that 5.2 gigahertz frequency because it feels that has got the least amount of interference and it's the best one to be flying on. So let's begin this test flight out then and I have chosen to fly at an altitude of around 60 meters. This is basically high enough so we're not bothering many people with the prop noise that comes from the DJI Neo but it's also low enough to make sure we're getting a bunch of interference from these houses. Now, 
long time viewers of my channel know this is my dedicated route for stress testing signal on DJI drones quite simply because I've done this test numerous times with the Mini 2, the Mini 3 Pro, the Mini 4 Pro, even the Auto Nano Plus and now with the DJI Neo. Now as we continue our little run we're going to take a left turn Now at the end of here it seems to be a bit of a black spot that long term viewers of my channel know only one drone has ever made it through here and that is the DJI Mini 4 Pro with its Ocusync 4 technology. So so I'm keen to see exactly how the DJI Neo does. Now it's fair to say, of course, it is quite windy. We're getting wind warnings. Uh, the drone is getting blown about a fair bit, but ultimately when we are flying with the controller, we do have full GPS positioning. So it's going to do its best to keep itself uh, flying straight and true. Now, as we get to the end of the run and we're going to take a little left turn, as you can see that signal 100% has dipped down. Yes, we're not that far away, but please be aware we are in a very high interference area. And as I've mentioned, we do have a bit of a black spot. However, it is worth noting that whilst this incredible little Neo is being battered by the wind and the signal strength has dropped due to this blackout that we usually get here, it has absolutely powered through and we've got absolutely no disconnection whatsoever. Ever, okay, so the, like I said, the only other drone that has ever completed this cycle is the DJI Mini 4 Pro with that Ocusync 4 technology. So let's just take that final turn and we're going to head with the DJI Neo all the way back to the home point and let's come up with a bit of a summary. This little piece of kit here, this DJI Neo, continues to impress me. 100% it might not give the best video or photo quality when you start blowing the image up on bigger screens, but most certainly when it comes to social media posts, Facebook, Instagram, the quality you're going to get from this piece of kit is more than adequate. But ultimately when it comes to features, literally all of the smart modes that app control, that palm takeoff, the ability to use it with the DJI goggles, and of course now, as you've seen, the full functionality using a DJI RC controller and just how good the Ocusync signal is if you did want to fly this piece of kit in a built up area, which of course due to its low weight and small size, you are perfectly entitled to do in most countries, make this, especially at the price point, just an incredible piece of kit. So I believe that was pretty conclusive. The Ocusync 4 technology on this drone is equally as good as it is on the DJI Mini 4 Pro. Of course, there is no reason it shouldn't be, but it's still worth testing these things just to see how good it actually is and to establish whether this drone, of course, at its weight um, limit, you can certainly fly this in most countries in built up areas. It was nice to establish just how stable the signal actually would be and if it could complete a little circuit. And most certainly, I would say that you can most certainly fly this drone in a built up area, safe in the knowledge you're not going to get any disconnections but don't forget if you are flying this drone with the controller you do have full gps return to home so if you did lose connection of course that drone will come right back to you so that wraps up this video thank you very much for watching if you did find it useful please do give it a big thumbs up it tells youtube algorithm more people just like you might want to watch my content subscribe if you're awesome and until next time see you again soon